Right now, I'm going to show you one of the recipes. This is a simple recipe. It's fail safe, uh, and it's right on the cover. It's penne with cherry tomatoes and black olives. This is so easy. When you're cooking pasta, make sure that you use enough water. Uh, again, all these hints and tips are going to be in the pages of the magazine, but we want a rapidly boiling water. We want to salt the water sufficiently. You can use pretty much any short pasta, but uh, the penne I love because it has a, a really good texture and it looks good on the plate and it's very easy to eat. This is going to take 13 minutes to cook, so I'm going to add it to the water now. We need two cloves of garlic for the sauce. And if you don't have one of these, you should get one because look how easy it is just to get a clean garlic clove. No lengthy peeling processes. You can find this in pretty much any cooking store. We have to heat in a frying pan, and you can use about a 12 inch pan for this. A quarter of a cup of olive oil. Buy olive oil in quantities that you know you're going to use up within three or four weeks. The garlic has to be finely sliced. And I suggest not buying prepared garlic. You can slice up a clove of garlic. It doesn't take that long. So this is going to go right into the olive oil. And we need a third of a cup of olives. And that I think you can sort of eyeball. Now if your kids hate olives, don't put them in the dish. Just keep them on the side. Serve the children. And olives are very easy to pit. You just go like this and remove the pit. These are already sliced. You can see they have a slice in them and the pit comes right out. The cherry tomatoes, we're going to cut those in half crosswise. Or if they're really big, you can quarter them. But see how pretty they are when you cut them across? They look really good. For this dish, you really need only one knife. You only need one skillet. You only need one big pot to boil your water. So you're not going to be making a gigantic mess in your kitchen. So here we can just add this to our oil. Mmm, looks so good. And let's see, we need some dried oregano, uh, one teaspoon. And you need some red hot peppers, and it's optional. If a lot of little kids are going to be eating this dish, you may not want to add the red hot peppers, but a couple, you have to add a couple. It's really, really good. So we're up to 10 minutes on the pasta. I have three more minutes. Now I'm going to add a little bit of salt, about a half a teaspoon to our sauce. And I'm going to add about a quarter of a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Stir this up. I don't want the tomatoes to become completely soft. I really want them to keep some of their shape. So once this comes up to heat, then you can reduce the heat a little bit and just cook for the three minutes that we have left. And we need some fresh parsley, about a quarter of a cup of parsley. And I like using pretty much the leaves, not so many of the stems. Oh, so doesn't this look good? Okay, this is almost done. So chop up your parsley. Now there are other tools that you could use to chop the parsley, but I find that a knife like this, it's our one knife. This is the one knife pasta. It's really easy to chop parsley like this. And I think our pasta must be done. Now you don't have to drain it and carry it to the sink. What you can do is just drain it in a spider like this. So here's another essential kind of kitchen tool that you'll really want to have. A little bit of the pasta cooking water is not a bad idea. Just make sure you toss it all very well. Turn it off. Add your parsley. Add your olives. Stir it a little bit. Really delicious. And we'll add the Parmesan cheese when we put it into our serving bowl. Mmm. So utterly tasty. What do you think? Good enough to eat? Don't forget the Parmesan cheese. And that's what it's all about. It doesn't have to be boring. It doesn't have to come out of a jar. It can be made fresh at home. 
in just a few minutes. Wouldn't you love this for dinner tonight? I would.